Hello everyone. Are you doing preparation for psychology entrance exams? Then this video is for you. Everyone doing practices in secures, but it is necessary to use the right approach at the time of practice. This will definitely improve your performance in entrances. So, let's begin. If you are practicing MCQs, then always take extra papers with you no matter you are using paper pencil test or online test. I will explain why. Whenever we answer questions, we are trying to find the right answer and we move ahead with other questions. This is not the right way to participate in any mock test or practice set. Find the right answer and before moving with the next questions, if any term in that particular question is unfamiliar or if any option is unknown, then write them in your notebook or on those extra paper, no matter you are confident with your answer or not. After completing each mock and practice set, deal with all those unknown points, collect information and make yourself familiar with all those points. It will not only help you analyze yourself, but it will also help you improve your concept effectively. Like in this question, if any point or option are unfamiliar, don't let them go as usual. So question is, in which part of the brain the feeling of hunger and full are felt? Option A, hypothalamus, amygdala. Option B, literal hypothalamus, ventromedial hypothalamus. Option C, literal hypothalamus, cerebral cortex. Option D, substantia nigra, ventromedial hypothalamus. What do you think? What is the right answer? Pause the video and let me know the right answer in comment box. Okay, so correct answer is B. Because the LH, that means literal hypothalamus, is generally known for the hunger center. And two of its main functions are, first, the stimulation of feeding behavior, and second, arousal. According to one experiment on rat conducted by Stubber and Wise in 2016, according to this study, electrical stimulation of LH result in ravenous eating behavior means aggressive eating behavior and animal was extremely motivated to work for food reward in that experiment. And according to Clement Kurask and their team from University of California, the ventromedial nucleus of hypothalamus, in short we can call them VMH, is a complex brain structure that is integral to many neuroendocrine functions including glucose regulation, thermogenesis, appetite, social and sexual behavior. So according to a study and experiment, this is widely acceptable that lateral hypothalamus promoting hunger and ventromedial hypothalamus developing sense of being full. So correct answer is B. As I told you, before moving with next questions, if you are unfamiliar about anything related to questions, like if you are not aware about what is the function of amygdala, cerebral cortex or substantia nigra, write in your notebook and work on it after completion of test. If you want to know more about amygdala, I have already made a video on it. You can find their link in description. Question number two, what function is primarily associated with orbitofrontal cortex? Options are contralateral control, motor learning, reward processing, muscles coordination. The orbitofrontal cortex, in short we call them OFC, is a brain part located in the frontal lobes just above and behind the orbits of eyes or we can say just behind and above the eye sockets. It's a part of prefrontal cortex which is involved in many cognitive functions and social behavior. Functions of orbitofrontal cortex is too complex but majorly responsible for few things. First major function of orbitofrontal cortex is they are responsible for test and smell processing. Along with test and smell processing, second major function is decision making. The OFC is involved in assessing the potential outcome of different choices, mean if I take option 1 or 2 what kind of consequences will be there and which option is more suitable according to the condition. This kind of decision making is the function of OFC. According to research evidences, damage or dysfunction in this particular tiny area leads to impulsive decision making and difficulties in managing impulses. Next function is reinforcement learning and reward processing. The OFC can help us learning something based on reward and punishments. 
That simply means if I get reward after a certain behavior, learning will be quick and accelerated. But if I get punishment, then learning will be negatively impacted. OFC means orbitofrontal cortex is also crucial for understanding the value of rewards. It helps individuals to understand what is more or less rewarding. It helps us choose a certain behavior when we have multiple pleasurable options. So according to explanations, option C, reward processing will be the right answer. But knowing the right answer is not enough. If you are not aware which brain organs are responsible for contralateral control, motor learning and muscles coordination, then write them in notebook and try to work on it. And also mention the right answer in comment box if you got it. I hope you found this particular video useful, helpful. If you want more explanatory video like this, let us know in comment box because sometime my team mentioning that why I'm making this video if we don't know anyone getting benefit from this video or not. And uh, if you have any questions or doubts, then don't hesitate to mention them in comment box. Bye. Take care.